topper punches. Did you know you can do more with these punches than just create tags? Hi, everybody. I'm Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com, and welcome to my Tuesday Tip Masterclass series on punches. During the month of March 2021, I've been sharing some different ideas how you can use your punches in very unique ways. And today, we're going to finish off the series using our tag topper punches to create something far beyond tags. And you're going to love this, my friends, because it involves one of my favorite things, chocolate. We're going to create four different chocolate packages using these fabulous uh, punches. I think you're going to love what you see, so let's get started. So we are going to start, and we're going to start working with the very first punch here, and that is our scallop tag topper. My first little treat container is going to be perfect for two Hershey nuggets. Can you see them there inside? I've wrapped them in designer series paper to make them a little more pretty, but I'm gonna teach you how to create this simple little tag uh, treat holder. And get this, look at that. That is all we need to create the um, this little Hershey miniature. This is basic black cardstock and it is cut two inches by five and a half inches. Okay, that's pretty easy. I have scored that at two inches on each end. I prefer to use my Simply Scored board on this, but guys, you can do it with your paper uh, trimmer too. So you can see I just scored at two inches, flipped it around, and scored at two inches. The reason I like to do that on these is because I want to make sure these two ends are exactly the same size. It's super simple, right? Look how fast these are going to go together. I'm going to give those a crease with my uh, bone folder. Now, let's come in with that uh, scallop tag topper. You're gonna push that cardstock in as far as it'll go. There we go. We're gonna flip it around and we're gonna do that there on the other side. And my friends, that's about all there is to it. Look at that. Can you see how that's gonna create our little treat holder? You can now add your adhesive right here and put your Hershey nuggets right inside you remember here i did wrap these in designer series paper one inch by three inches very simple to do but we want to just kind of focus very quickly how you can create that then you can take some of your favorite ribbon and we can just run that through the tag portion of our punches and you can simply tie that tie it in a bow. Let me go ahead and bring this one in so you can see. I just took a little scrap of that designer series paper, added it to the bottom, a little punched blossom flower, and I did a little heat embossing there. Thank you for being my friend. Isn't that just a fun little gift you want to maybe leave for a coworker who helped you out in a pinch? Just a little something. Guys, that one's very easy, and these would be fun for baby showers, wedding showers, but how about more? Let's take it up a notch. How many of you love Ghirardelli chocolates? I love these things so much, especially the caramels. They're my favorite. So we're going to create another little uh, treat holder. I have a piece of petal pink. This one is two inches by seven and a half inches. The scoring is a little bit different because my chocolate is a little bit different. I scored this one at three and three eighths flipped it around, scored it at three and three eighths. Now we are gonna use the scallop tag topper again for this one. And we're just going to punch and opposite side punch. By the way, you could do this with any of the tag toppers, all right? You don't have to have that one. We have three to choose from, so pick your favorite. Uh, we are now going to take our score lines, give those a nice crease. I'm gonna take my Ghirardelli chocolates and I'm actually going to adhere them together so now we can take our chocolates, get those lined up. Yep, they're stuck together. I can now put some adhesive here in the center, line that up. It goes right inside. And there we go. Let me show you my finished one because it's just too stinking adorable. It says, thank you so much. And that's the hippo happiness. Just tied it up with some petal pink ribbon. And there we go. What a great little maybe baby shower favor. Those would be so cute, right? Do you want more? Of course you do. Let's go on to our next one. And that is to create a little holder that will hold 
fun size candy bars. So these are maybe nicer, a little bit bigger. I did this one with the Nothing's Better Than bundle. And I said, you're just like chocolate. You make everything better. This one, again, because my chocolate is different, my measurements are different. So for this one, I'm using very vanilla cardstock. This is cut two inches by eight and three eighths of an inch. And I scored at four inches. I flipped it around and scored at four inches. Now for this one, we're gonna change up the tag topper and we're gonna use the fancy tag. Now I am gonna tell you the fancy tag topper is very much like the scallop tag topper. And as I said, they really are inter interchangeable. So you can change those up if you want. We're gonna slide in our cardstock. You see it's set for two inches. So that's why all of my measurements here have been two inches. All right, we have that cut. Now let's add our chocolates. And for this, we're just going to add some adhesive right here. And I want to line that up right there on that edge because I want that to fit inside there. My next one will go right there. And you see those Hershey bars are one inch each. So they fit perfect inside my uh, little tag box. So there it is all finished and prettied up. I used a little bit of that early espresso faux, faux suede ribbon to uh, wrap it up. And there I did some heat embossing as well. I just thought it had a really nice pop and I love this one. Hey, can I tell you, it's another kind of tag topper. I used my triple banner punch to create that one. You see there's a little slot right there for a one inch piece of cardstock. And that's exactly what I did. By the way, the measurements for everything that I'm doing, you're going to find those at simplysimplestamping.com. So I hope you'll go check those out. I've got one more for you. This one is so fun. Look, we created a little treat box, like literally a little treat box. And this one holds six uh, Hershey miniatures. You see, I've just kind of adhered those together. I think this one is really fun. Let me show you how to create this little box. Uh, so I'm starting with Highland Heather. My cardstock is, once again, two inches by eight and a half inches. I scored at three and a quarter, flipped it around, and scored at three and a quarter. Now, this one you see has a little box inside. So we need to create that box. The box is another piece of Highland Heather, and this is three and a half by three and a half, and I scored at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. Now, we do have to create this little box, so here's what we're going to do. We're gonna cut right along the score lines on one side. We're gonna go to the opposite side and cut to a score line until it meets the next score line. So basically, we're just cutting upwards that three quarters of an inch. So there are my four little tabs. Now we do need to miter these. And I always like to tell you, if you're cutting on anything except the square, please stop, you're cutting it incorrectly. We only want to cut on these squares. These are the little tabs. And I'm just cutting from the inside to the outside. So again, just on a square, just a little, just a little piece of pie or a little piece of pizza. You're just gonna cut from the inside to the outside. Mitering these edges is what's going to make it turn into a really nice box and you're not gonna have those little edges sticking up. And we don't like that, looks kind of tacky. All right, so that is all cut. We'll now come in with a bone folder and you're gonna wanna give all the score lines a good crease, even those tabs. We want all of those to have a good crease. This is where I really recommend the bone folder because when it comes to boxes, I always want really nice hard edges to them. Now you can seal uh, the tabs any way you want. I'm gonna use a little Stampin' Seal Plus. This stuff's great because it's really heavy duty adhesive. It's very, very strong. And you notice I'm just kind of putting it here, right here on the edges. And now I can just come put those edges together. I just wanna line up just like so. Just make sure you're getting them lined up nice and straight. And guys, it really is that easy. And they come together quite fast. There is my box. Now we're gonna put this inside our little treat holder. But before I do, I don't know if you guys noticed, I did some embossing on this one. Let me show you how I did that. You're gonna use your favorite embossing folder, of course. I'm using the uh, Meadow Moments. And I love these little butterflies on here. Now you're gonna notice 
when I put it in there, <laughs> I don't get the whole thing. So I'm gonna take it right to that corner. And another thing, you see I did go all the way around. If that bothers you, just take it to here, flip it around, and emboss it to there. And then you can leave that unembossed. Remember that is the bottom of the box. So uh, for the sake of time, let's pretend we've already embossed and we're gonna add our little box right here. Whoops, um, again, very, very simple to do. I've got my stamp and seal plus already out. So let's go ahead and use that. Oh, before I do, I actually need to put a little bit of adhesive here so that my box can adhere to it. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that Stampin' Seal Plus just right here along that edge. <laughs> Lots of adhesive going on there. All right, I'm going to place my box inside. And I always like to tell you, don't press anything down hard until you're sure you've got everything set where you want it. And we can bring that together. I'm just gonna kinda put my fingers in there and give that a good press. And you guys, I just realized I forgot to do my tag topper. Oh my goodness, well guess what? We're not too late, we can still do it. Oh, sometimes I need more coffee before I shoot a video. Hey, for this one, we're gonna use the delightful tag topper. And guess what? It's still going to be able to work. We're just going to slide that in. Look, it was like I, no, let me just, how about I just tell you guys I meant to do that. There we go. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we'll just slide that right inside. And uh, like magic, look what we were able to do. So now let me go ahead and show you. So here's my uh, Hershey miniatures. Guys, all I did was just use my Stampin' Seal Plus a little bit to hold those together. And then you can see, just slide right inside. Then you can tie it up. Now let me bring this one in because I wanted to show you something. So you see it's all embossed and it's all pretty, but do you see my tag? Something sweet for someone so sweet. I actually pulled that from my Valentine keepsake stamp That's set. Away. And look, there's that same tag topper, but I wanna share with you, you notice that tag's smaller. And you go, no, 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 you have to use a two inch tag. Mm -mm, let me show you. So guys, I'm just starting with a scrap. It is one and a half inches by whatever. It doesn't matter because we're gonna be cutting it down. Now in my tag, do you notice these little grooves? There's a one inch groove, a one and a half inch groove, and a two inch groove, right? So I'm gonna put my one and a half right there and you see it just fits snug as a bug. We're gonna slide that in, make sure it's nice and straight inside those guides because that's what makes it nice and easy. And do you see, that tag looks very, very different. Now I come in with my stamp, stamp that right there at the top of my tag, trim it down, boom, I have a tag. And let me bring this one back in. I just added a little strip of some scrap. Remember I was cutting all this anyway. I had a little strip left over and I added that to the tag. Very, very cute little treat box. And there you go, my friends. I'm telling you, I love coming up with ways that I can use my punches and step them up a notch, use them outside the box. They are great for tags. Absolutely, they're great for tags. But what's not to love about getting more bang for your buck and having some other little uh, party favors, little chocolate boxes, treat boxes that you're going to be able to create using those tag toppers. And I wanna remind you again, it doesn't matter what tag topper you use, it will work with all four of these treat boxes. So remember, there is the scallop tag topper, there's the fancy tag topper, and there's the delightful tag topper. Pick your favorite, order all three, it's up to you, but you're still going to be able to create these fun and adorable little chocolate projects. Thank you guys so much for being with me today. Remember, you can order these tag toppers at simplysimplestampin.com or look in the YouTube description. You'll find a direct link that'll take you where you can order as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. Give me a thumbs up if you liked today's video and don't forget to subscribe. Make it a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.